Jet 7 is one of our larger integrated test campaigns and so we have different teams with multiple objectives. Um, some of those teams include navigation, so trying out different types of navigational aids for um, when humans go back to the moon and do traverses. We also have teams working on communication infrastructure, so working on radios and Wi-Fi and how to get the voices of the astronauts from the moon back to people on Earth. So we have very different kinds of radios and backpacks and we're putting those on uh, individuals and walking off into the landscape you have here at NSS, uh, walking in and around craters so we can see how different types of radios, different frequencies behave since this sort of environment is similar to a lunar surface. We have some groups out there navigating around. We're using the ice cap tower out here at Jet 7. It is a fantastic uh, lunar lander for us, a good representation of the SpaceX uh, Starship lander. And so we're out here testing those comms and navigation objectives. It's amazing that the site can be a part of this because not only did we help uh, historically with the Apollo missions and training up the Apollo astronaut candidates, uh, but we can now help the Artemis missions with these jet exercises. So we're probably uh, maybe a third of the waypoint. So still kind of early development, kind of prototype systems. And we're trying to make some choices on the, the actual flight designs that we'll make. So this early testing here helps us compare a bunch of different things. And we can, so we can eventually come to one choice and then produce that for actual space flight. Being out here in nature, um, nature will give you curve balls. We've been able to, um, to be stronger as a team, be flexible and adjust um, based on some of the challenges that the terrain gives us. But yes, I'd say we plan for a really long time, but the really fun part is the execution. And so we're really excited to be out here with the, the awesome hosts at NNSS. So NNSS is on the list of the uh, top five places that we go uh, train astronauts for lunar surface operations. So uh, given that, we come here and test out the equipment that the astronauts will use. NSPGs, the Nevada Space Proving Grounds that we have here at the NNSS. We, we hope to keep growing the program we have a lot of great features here and we have a lot of excitement about it as well from all kinds of groups and all kinds of folks with different different capabilities. The feeling of being part of the Artemis mission is pretty humbling. Um, it's, it's an amazing amount of you know very smart people and very smart teams and that are really coming together to make this Artemis thing happen. I love the history of Apollo and how we did it back in the 60s and early 70s and so it's pretty humbling to be a part of it now that we're going back to the moon under the Artemis program. I'm loving this. I'm grateful to be here and I'm grateful to be helping out and this is this is a spectacular crew to be working with. And the partnership has been fantastic and really look forward to it in the future as Artemis program continues to head towards the moon.